Hold on to your hats, folks. The tech world is in for a wild ride. China just pulled off a major coup, shaking the foundations of the global semiconductor industry. They've done what many thought was impossible. China has joined the elite club of nations capable of producing extreme ultraviolet lithography, or EUV machines. These aren't just any machines. They are the wizards behind the most advanced computer chips. This is a game changer. Imagine a world where China, already a tech powerhouse, controls the very technology that fuels our digital lives. It's a future that's closer than we think. With six self-developed EUV machines under its belt, China is poised to redefine the rules of the game. This isn't just about faster phones or more powerful computers. It's about national security, economic dominance, and the future of innovation itself. The world is watching. As China continues to push the boundaries of technology, the implications are vast and far-reaching. From the devices we use daily to the infrastructure that supports our digital world, everything could change. The rise of this new tech titan is not just a story of technological achievement, but a narrative of global power shifts and the race for supremacy in the digital age. Stay tuned, because the future is unfolding right before our eyes. Imagine shrinking a picture of the entire Earth onto the head of a pin. It's a mind-boggling concept, isn't it? This kind of extreme miniaturization is not just a fantasy, but a reality in the world of semiconductor technology. That's essentially what EUV technology does for computer chips. EUV, or Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography, is a groundbreaking technique that has revolutionized the way we create microchips. It's the art of etching incredibly small patterns onto silicon wafers, creating the transistors that power our digital world. These transistors are the building blocks of all modern electronic devices, from smartphones to supercomputers. The smaller the transistors, the more you can fit onto a single chip and the more powerful and efficient the chip becomes. EUV uses extremely short wavelengths of light, about 13.5 nanometers to be precise. This is a significant advancement over previous technologies that use longer wavelengths. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. To put it into perspective, that's about one five thousandth the width of a human hair. This level of precision is what allows for the creation of incredibly dense and powerful microchips. This extreme precision allows chip makers to cram billions of transistors onto a single chip. Each transistor is like a tiny switch that can turn on and off, enabling complex computations and data processing. More transistors mean faster processing speeds, increased memory capacity, and more powerful devices. This is why your smartphone today is more powerful than the computers that sent astronauts to the moon. But here's the catch. EUV technology is incredibly complex and expensive to develop. The machinery required is highly specialized and costs billions of dollars to produce and maintain. Only a handful of companies worldwide have mastered this art. These companies are at the forefront of technological innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Until now, the race to perfect EUV technology has been fierce, but the rewards are immense. For years, China relied on foreign companies for EUV machines, but not anymore. They've rolled out six self-developed EUV machines, each more impressive than the last. These aren't just copies or imitations. They represent a significant leap forward in China's technological prowess. Details about these machines are still shrouded in secrecy. But one thing's clear. China is serious about becoming self-sufficient in this critical technology. Imagine a team of brilliant engineers working tirelessly in state-of-the-art facilities, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. That's the reality of China's EUV program. These machines are not just symbols of national pride. 
They are the building blocks of China's technological independence. Shifting sands, China's EUV ascendancy and the global tech order. China's EUV breakthrough is sending shockwaves through the global tech industry. For decades, a select few companies have held a virtual monopoly on this crucial technology. Now, China is challenging the status quo. Imagine a tectonic shift in the balance of power, with China emerging as a major player in the semiconductor arena. This has huge implications for the global economy. Semiconductors are the brains of modern electronics, found in everything from smartphones and laptops to cars and airplanes. Control over EUV technology gives China a strategic advantage in a world increasingly reliant on advanced chips. This isn't just about competition. It's about reshaping the entire global tech landscape. Sizing up the competition, China's EUV prowess versus the world. In the ever-evolving landscape of semiconductor technology, the battle for supremacy is heating up. Now, let's talk about the heavyweights. The giants of the industry are squaring off, each vying for the top spot in the EUV technology arena. ASML, a Dutch company, is the current king of EUV technology. They have established themselves as the undisputed leader with a stronghold on the market. Their machines are the gold standard, used by leading chip makers worldwide. These machines are critical for producing the most advanced semiconductors, which power everything from smartphones to supercomputers. But China's rapid progress is making waves. The nation is investing heavily in research and development, aiming to break ASML's monopoly. While still in the early stages, China's EUV machines show immense potential. Their advancements are not just incremental, they are making significant strides that could reshape the industry. Think of it as a David versus Goliath scenario. On one side, we have ASML, with decades of experience and a well-established market presence. ASML has the experience and market dominance, but China has the momentum and the drive to catch up. The Chinese government is backing this technological push with substantial funding and policy support. It's a race against time, with both sides pushing the limits of innovation. Engineers and scientists are working around the clock, striving to outdo each other in this high-stakes competition. This competition is good news for the world. As these two powerhouses compete, the benefits will ripple across the globe. It will drive down costs, accelerate innovation, and lead to even more powerful and efficient devices. Consumers and industries alike will reap the rewards of this technological arms race, ushering in a new era of advanced electronics. Navigating the path ahead. Challenges and opportunities for China's EUV ambitions. China's EUV journey is far from over. Developing cutting-edge technology is one thing, but mass-producing it reliably and cost-effectively is another. China faces challenges in securing raw materials, attracting top talent, and navigating potential export controls. Imagine a complex web of supply chains, intellectual property rights, and geopolitical tensions. That's the reality of the global semiconductor industry. But China has a history of overcoming obstacles. They've shown a remarkable ability to adapt, innovate, and emerge stronger from challenges. The road ahead may be bumpy, but China's determination to become a global leader in EUV technology is unwavering. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.